Yeah, hi students. I am Dr. Badrinath. In this video, we will see the two compartment model. Two compartment open model for IV bolus injection, and we will cover the model. What is the model? What is the description? And uh, what is the equations we are using to calculate the amount of the drug present in the body? If you are using this model, okay, graph. And finally, keep in your mind here you are giving a drug to the IV, IV route, and only injection, not the infusion. Infusion is different. Okay, that is another model, two compartment. That also I will explain you. Yeah. And uh, see here, this is a first model. Two compartments we are imaging. See here, our body, we are total body, we are imaging in this model as a two compartments. First one is the central compartment. The central compartment, see here, entire body is imaginated as a two compartments. First one, central compartment. This is always called as a central compartment. And uh, it consists of a blood, that is systemic circulation, as well as highly perfused organs. Blood supply is high to those organs, like a brain, lungs, kidney, liver. These are the main highly blood supply organs. All these together, we kept in a central compartment. Another compartment is a peripheral. It is a side. It is just like a side compartment. It consists of a low perfused organs. Blood supply is low, like a muscles, bones, okay, fat tissue. All these are the low perfused organs. All wide variety of tissues, all remaining, all including in the peripheral compartment only. It is in, always indicated by the two. Keep in your mind, elimination is always takes place from the central compartment only. Because kidney, blood supply to the kidney is always from uh, systemic circulation. Okay, So elimination is always takes place from the uh, central compartment. Elimination always the first order. Very, very important bit. Irrespective of the model, irrespective of the uh, route of administration of the drug, whatever, either it is a controlled release, sustained release, whatever it may be. In all the cases, it is a, just like a class KE, elimination rate constant, always first order. Since it is a IV route, since it, no absorption is involved, that's why we didn't show here KA, only we showed the KE. Since it is an open model, elimination is there, KE is there, KE always the first order, no absorption because directly drug is entered into the systemic circulation. Okay, so KA does not exist. Since it is an open model, elimination exists, so KE exists. KE always follows the first order. Okay. K12, here one more term is there. In one compartment model, it was not there. Now, since it is a two boxes, see from central compartment, drug is distributed to the second peripheral compartment. It is called a K, K12. So from first compartment to second compartment, that is called a distribution rate constant. After certain time, what happened? Again, this drug comes back to the central compartment. That is called a K21. K12. K21, always first order kinetics. It is nothing but linear kinetics. Keep in your mind. Okay. Higher the concentration of a drug in the first compartment, higher the distribution. Higher the concentration of a drug in the K2, higher the redistribution. So K12, we are calling as a distribution. K21, we are calling as a redistribution. Okay. See what happened exactly. Imagine, imagine your brain. What happened? Because two compartments is there. In, this is first compartment, this is second compartment, and we are giving an injection here, okay, IV injection. What happened here means first immediately entire drug will be entered into the first compartment. Second compartment, it's easy, empty here, starting, in the starting stage. Here, all of a sudden, see, first compartment drug is not increased slow, 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 slowly, like oral route. Here, entire drug you have given rapidly within a one minute. So entire drug immediately it enter into the systemic circulation. So it is a high concentration. Here, this is full empty. Now what happened? It is distributed and started here. So that's why here concentration is less. Here concentration is increased. See, see the color. Okay. Again, concentration, see here. Again, distribution continues. Here concentration increased and here concentration is decreased. Now what happened? Redistribution, see here, redistribution is also there. So during the redistribution, see both are having a same. Elimination is always starting. So both again becomes empty like a first model, like this, this model. Both compartment. So here two logics you have to understand. In the first compartment, 
all of us see this is the curve of the first compartment this curve this is the curve of the second compartment in the first compartment all of a sudden there is a high concentration that's why you have to write the starting point here so from here slowly drug is central compartment see here how slowly it become a fade okay right now in the second compartment see concentration is increasing see here increasing again decreasing so you will get a curve like this peripheral compartment increasing and decreasing this is the graph that's it equations this is the drug to determine the here two compartments is there no concentration of a drug present in the central compartment concentration of a drug present in the peripheral compartment x0 divided by vc same almost all equations are same except this one and k is nothing but you know uh, redistribution constant uh, alpha and beta here i have mentioned what is alpha alpha is a hybrid uh, first order rate constant beta is also a hybrid first order rate constant by using this equation uh, x0 is nothing but a dose vp is nothing but a volume of the peripheral compartment vc means volume of the central compartment okay like this all keep all uh, the things in your equation and you will get automatically next video we will see the two compartment open model for iv infusion right